Hi everyone, name is Vittorio, I work at Bloomberg, and you must type it three times. So let's assume the, we have a user that has a full function object, which has its own no except, its own decal type, and you as a library developer want to provide some sort of functionality, such as log and call, which can accept some arbitrary function from the user and must properly you know, respect the no acceptness and decal type of the function. So what I want to do is basically this. I want to say log and call takes a function from the user and a bunch of arguments. It logs something, then it calls the function that the user passed. What are the issues here? Okay, that's one issue, but more, even more obvious. No acceptance. Exactly, we don't have no accept. So if we, if we try to check the no acceptness of this function, it will always evaluate to false. So what we need to do is basically this. We need to say the same function call with the same arguments inside a no accept block. You could use a trait or whatever, but the point is that the same code. So someone mentioned that it's not Sphenae friendly, and that's right, because if you see this decal type auto here, it's not um, providing the action that will, be, that will be performed as part of the function signature. So if you try to say is invocable of foo with some object that might not be valid for the function call, then instead of getting sphined away, you will get a hard error, a hard compilation error, and you cannot spin on that. So what you do is this, and you have the no except here, the decal type here, and the function call here, and we got to do it three times. But there's still one minor issue. Can anyone spot it? Uh, no? <laughs> Constexpr, exactly. So it's Constexpr friendly. And finally, when we put the Constexpr there, we have this beautiful, perfect wrapper for the function. <laughs> and this line of code has had to be repeated manually three times in order to achieve no except correctness and Sphene friendliness. And why cannot the compiler do that for us? He has the body, he knows what we want to do. So if the compiler cannot do it for us, what we do is we use a macro. So this is the returns macro that basically takes a bunch of tokens here and expands the same tokens into the no except, the decal type, and the return. And you can simply say login calls with returns. And as you can see, I'm using the com operator in a very beautiful way there. And it's gonna, <laughs> and it's gonna expand to basically everything. And if you compare that to what we had to originally write, it's way nicer, but we're using a macro. So we're avoiding code triplication, but we're exposing this returns thing to our client, and we need to abuse the com operator and only works with expressions. So if we have like a compound statement, it's really hard to uh, explicitly say what we want to do. And also if we have uh, lambdas or this, they don't work in an unevaluated context, so it will not work. You need to explicitly do something with decal val or something like that. So why cannot the compiler do this for us? There was a proposal by Barry Resvin, which was called Abbreviated Lambdas for Fun and Profit, and it proposed this new arrow expert syntax that basically expanded a lambda using that syntax with an expression on the right hand side to what you see below. So this kind of new introduction syntax for, for the body of a lambda basically generated all the crap for you and was also terse, so it was nice. Unfortunately, it got rejected, most of it, and that's made me really sad because I was, I was looking forward to it. But we could use the same idea to have something generic, which is like a new function body introduction syntax that supports anything and generates the triplication for you. So this is what I want to write. I want to write a lambda like that, and I want to write a function like that, where I can have a call twice, and it's gonna correctly generate the no accept and decal type for me. So can we make this happen? The issue right now is that we cannot specify a compound statement inside no accept or decal type. It's currently impossible. So I was wondering if there's a way that we could specify some formal splitting rules for the compiler. So for example, if we pass a compound statement made up of a call to A and call to B, the compiler understands it and splits it into something that works today, which is basically an end between no accept expressions. And if we have an if statement, then we would have a rule that's basically saying, yeah, check the predicate and check the body, et cetera. And all of these ideas would apply to the decal type as well. So if we have something weird like if constexpr, we might need some sort of new keyword which is conditional decal type that takes the constex expression and then checks depending on the case. And I'm just dreaming, I don't know if this is possible, but I can dream. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna write this. Until then, you must type it three times. <laughs> Thank you.